Following the release of the ninth episode of season three of Ted Lasso, that means one thing. There's only three episodes left to go. It's been a great season so far, and it's been an emotional roller coaster too. With episode nine being an episode where the pace was quite slow, but the emotions and stakes were high, I feel we're going to have a final few episodes where it's got a slightly more accelerated pacing to it. With there still being a lot to resolve before the end of the season, I thought I'd take a look at all that was out there and give my theories and predictions on what I think is going to happen in the next episode. Here is Ted Lasso Season 3 Episode 10, Theories Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. Let's start with the title, synopsis, and photo that's been shared ahead of the next episode. The title of Episode 10 of the show is called International Break. I imagine with that being the title, it's going to be an episode that isn't as much focused on the team but instead is focused on the individuals that aren't in the team, such as Ted, Rebecca, Keithy, Roy, and Nate, as they will have a fair bit of time on their hands with there being a couple of weeks where there are no matches. With there usually being an international break at around March and us being close to the end of the season, I'm going to imagine that this is the rough time placement for when the episode is set. The synopsis for the episode is while some of the Greyhounds head home to play for their countries in international matches, Edwin Akufo brings a business proposal to Rebecca. I think this could mean a couple of different things. We know that in the past, Edwin Akufo was looking to set up a new African football club and wanted Sam Obisanya to be a part of it. However, Sam decided to stay. I do wonder if his appearance and arrival could be due to him wanting to acquire AFC Richmond. Could this potentially be the business proposal that Edwin would be looking at setting up? We know he's a billionaire in tech, and judging by the fact that AFC Richmond have just come up from the championship, I don't think they'd have an extremely large valuation. Well, a large one in terms of money, but one I'm sure he could afford. We know that season three of the show is set to be the final season of Ted Lasso as we know it. And with Rebecca on a journey of self-discovery and putting her past behind her, especially the past that's focused on Rupert, could this be her way out? We know that she's looking to find happiness elsewhere, and maybe Edwin might make her an offer that she feels as though she won't be able to refuse. This would also be a good way to set up the departure of Ted in going back to the States, as he may feel as though it could be his time to leave, and that it may have come to an end at the club with the sale of it. This would also connect into Nate potentially coming back to the club as well and taking over as manager. A common theory that is out there. A new owner means a shake-up for the club. And if Ted leaves, Edwin would need to appoint a new manager. So that could well be an offer that gets put on the table for Rebecca. It would be an interesting way for the show to end, but one that would actually work quite well and make sense. That's just one theory about the offer and main plot based off of the synopsis anyway. Let's break the rest of the video down by the characters and moments that could occur. Roy and Keithy. From the main trailer for season three of the show, there's still this shot to come. There's a few main things that have happened in the past few episodes that I feel are building to this scene. One, Jack and Keely broke up. Two, Jamie apologized to Keely and he got closer to her. And three, Roy realized that he can't run away from things anymore and needs to face difficult things. I think this scene occurring is the result of all of those things happening. We know that it takes place in Jamie's childhood bedroom, judging by the wall, so I feel Jamie is going to call Roy to his house for training, and also invite Keely over without Roy knowing, something that he'd be able to do as he grew closer to Keely. And I believe it's going to be a setup to get both Roy and Keely in a room together so they can talk to one another. We know that Jamie's aware that Roy still has feelings for Keely, as he spotted reactions from Roy, so with Roy helping Jamie bring out his full potential on the pitch and helping him in many other ways, I believe this will now be Jamie's time to help Roy. And with Roy realizing that he can't run away from things anymore, I think we're going to see him admit to Keely that their breaking up was a mistake and that he still cares deeply for her. A moment that will have been all season in the making. With the both of them holding hands, it definitely implies that they're deep in conversation and who knows, maybe even agreeing to give things another try. I feel this could be in the next episode. With there being no game time and Jamie Tart maybe not getting called up for England, this could allow more time for Roy to be training Jamie and more opportunities for this situation to occur. Nate and Rupert. In episode nine of the show, we saw Nate see Rupert for who he truly was and he stood up to him. Well, stood up for himself and walked away from Rupert, showing that he didn't want any part of what was going on. Instead, he went to Jade's apartment and met her with an embrace instead, 
showing the side that he was truly on. With there being a definitive moment where he showed a difference to Rupert, I think we're now going to see Nate reach out to Ted. It's about time that they did. Nate is still keeping up with AFC Richmond as we saw when he was reading the article about McAdoo. So with him realizing that Rupert is the wrong man's wing to be under, and him not having a hold over him like he has done all season, as we especially saw whenever it came to Ted, I feel he'll drop Ted a text message or a phone call and arrange to meet up. A moment that I can't wait to watch unfold. Ted. With Ted not having a large involvement in the most recent episode, it allowed him to take a back seat and for us to see the weight that was lifted from his mind in episode 7 after getting to spend some time with Henry. However, I still feel the yearning to be with his son will be present. In episode 7, Rebecca said to Ted, Your time with Henry hasn't passed. You need to stop letting yesterday get in the way of today. When she said that to him, it was clear to see that it landed with impact and it stuck with him. Ted's son is everything to him, and I feel the longer he's apart from Henry, the more he's most probably going to be missing him. I believe he'll come to realize that he needs to be with his son. And if the prediction around the synopsis is right about Edwin looking like he wants to buy AFC Richmond, that will be the cue. There's been lots of things about Ted missing home, missing his own father, and the importance of being around Henry, so I feel it's definitely inevitable. Rebecca with only three episodes left to go and there being a strong absence of Rebecca and the psychic signs in the most recent episodes, it does make me wonder what's going to come of this. All of the signs linked to the mystery man in Amsterdam, and I'm still saying that I feel as though he's going to track her down and find her by the green matchbook that was probably in her pocket when she fell in the river. But the chances are looking slimmer now. They both said that the connection that they had with one another transcended the evening that they spent together. So there was a deep connection, and I don't feel as though either of them will just let that go. There are so many different directions that the final three episodes could go in, but one thing is for sure, all of the stories are going to start wrapping up, and it's going to be sad when the show does finally come to an end. I'm going to miss it. So, there you have it. Ted Lasso Season 3 Episode 10 Theories Explained if you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think is going to happen next? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.